Water is crucial in the agricultural production of food, feed, fuel, and fiber worldwide. The state produces nearly half of all United States rice and is the fourth largest contributor in the world. Bringing in $16 billion each year, agriculture is Arkansas's largest industry. Water is essential to agriculture production, but is being used at unsustainable rates. Arkansas relies on groundwater for approximately 80% of irrigation needs and 20% from surface water sources. Most of our groundwater comes from the Mississippi River Valley Alluvial Aquifer, which covers 32,000 square miles of the Mississippi Delta. Although Arkansas receives approximately 50 inches of precipitation annually, it may not fall during critical stages of crop production. As a result, irrigation has steadily and significantly increased since the 1980s. Now, Arkansas irrigates the fourth largest number of acres of any state and applies the second most amount of irrigation water. Since 1965, the use of the aquifer has increased 655 percent. I'm Mark Wimpy from Jonesboro, Arkansas. I'm a grain farmer. Uh, we raise rice, soybeans, corn. My name is Jerry Don Clark. Uh, I am a fourth generation rice farmer. I farm with my brother, Tommy Clark. Our farms is, have experienced a groundwater decline for several years. We, we have an irrigated farm here. We farm approximately 5,000 acres in a three and a half mile circle here. We totally rely on, for years here, just underground water out of the aquifers. Well, we're pumping so much and the aquifers are not being replenished as fast as we're pumping water out. So we're dealing with a dropping water table. And my dad said in the night, when he farmed in the, started farming in the early 1950s, the water level here at our main farm here at Otwell, groundwater was probably 50 feet. And right now our groundwater uh, is uh, level to the groundwater is probably about 115 feet. It has dropped that much since the 1950s. Water makes grain. We have to have water. Uh, our yields years ago were, were very small. As population is growing, we need to increase our, our, our grain output on the, on, the, on the same amount of acres. We have to do it with water. We have to have water. It is very important for our operation. If you don't have water, you don't farm. Due to the reduced production from the alluvial aquifer, farmers have been forced to drill into deeper underground sources. If this were to continue to happen, many conveniences such as community pools, water in our homes, and businesses will be impacted negatively. It's getting to where now we can't drill a decent well to get a decent well. Most of our formation we run out of of aquifer or ability to pump water at about 150 feet. So the water is getting harder to find, it's more expensive to pump it out of the ground from a deeper level, so we're actually, we're, we're going in the wrong direction. By using our irrigation, true, we do get crops, but we're using up a very viable natural resource that's not being replenished. The state of Arkansas utilizes the riparian doctrine common in the eastern United States. All landowners have the right to make reasonable use of water on or bordering their property, provided the water use is reasonable. Arkansas Natural Resources Commission, or the ANRC, serves as the State Water Resources Planning and Management Agency. As such, the ANRC has taken the lead on a comprehensive update of the Arkansas State Water Plan. The update is expected to be complete in late 2014. Farmers are doing their part too. They are adopting practices that reduce their water use in several ways. So in the early 80s, a few farmers in this area started uh, putting in reservoirs and because we have a lot of rainfall in the wintertime when we're not irrigating it, it just runs through our ditches and just goes away. We can store that water and during the off season time, during the rainy periods, we can stackpile that water and then we have the availability of it to use for the summer. And so now we're, we're primarily, I'd say 90% of our farm water use comes from reservoirs, surface water. Farmers in this region have applied this method to their farms, but some are still being introduced to the option. For those farmers, the challenge will be determining if they can afford the cost and sacrifice of land to support a reservoir. Researchers are working with producers on irrigation practices that will impact water resources, including water use efficiency studies, remote control of pump and motor systems, intermittent flooding of rice, and potential for artificial recharge of the alluvial aquifer. As Arkansas continues to lead the way in agriculture and industries, we must realize that water is like our fuel. We run on it. Without it, we go nowhere. We must make sure that the future generations of Arkansans have plenty of water. We are digging into dangerous territories. We must come together to make sure that Arkansas never goes dry.